Welcome back to the four. They can be creepy, crawly, and give you the heebie-jeebies, but bugs and insects can also be beautiful and fascinating. That's exactly what an artist wants us to experience in a new exhibit at the Science Museum of Minnesota. First at four, photojournalist Tony Peterson introduces us to the man behind these exquisite creatures. My daughter gave us a gift, three of us, to come and see this. This is the leafy sea dragon. Everything in this, in this exhibit is real. I, I'm a snake and lizard fanatic. I had a, a collection of kind of big box of, of terribly preserved insects. I had no idea what I was doing and just started putting things together for myself. You know, it was just something to kind of represent the places I'd lived and, and traveled um, and just fell in love with the process of, of working with insects and creating something beautiful out of them. So out of the ordinary from how I live my life and what I usually see. A lot of times, really the, the, the basis of the inspiration is that I want people to be able to focus almost exclusively on the design elements of organisms. I am constantly learning about things. Uniqueness is everywhere here. The, the amount of biodiversity in the world that is even that is undiscovered uh, eclipses what we've already what we've already discovered. There's always an opportunity to discover and I want when people walk through this exhibit to turn a corner and see something they've never seen before around every corner. It's really interesting how, how what, what things attract people. I really try to work to make snakes as beautiful as as I believe they are. Beauty and and the and the aesthetic appreciation for nature is is kind of a is kind of a universal. The end game for me is to create uh, an institution. So I want to create a place that is a beautiful, sacred uh, pl a place of, of connection and renewal and rejuvenation. If you come here, you're going to be surrounded by beauty and, and that's something that everybody can enjoy. When an opportunity like this comes, no matter what your age, be sure you seize it. That's what I would say. Cute. My grandma would love that exhibit. I feel like some of those creatures would normally creep you out when you, when you see the way he's adorned them in a way. Yeah, there's some artistic element to I them. I think that is sort of his point. Um, he says that there are approximately 500 pieces in the exhibit, and the artist actually has a 10-acre refuge, which is kind of cool. They discovered 250 new species there on wow. his property over the last three years as part of this. Yeah, exquisite Creatures is on display now through Labor Day at the Science Museum. He'll sign books and answer questions tomorrow from 10 until 2.